How's it going everyone? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. This video is a bit of a departure from what we normally talk about. I want to talk a bit about what goes on behind the camera. Lately, I've been playing with a new toy I got a while back, and if you've seen some of my recent videos, you may have noticed it in action. I got a motor controller for my slider that allows for some really creative camera movements. Both the slider and the controller are made by Kessler Crane. It's pretty cool that the controller can stick right to the motor magnetically. Backing up for a bit, why is a motorized slider a good thing? Camera movement is a big change going from still photography to videography. So if you're looking to move the camera smoothly, it's a major challenge without the right tools. I won't get into it too much, but stabilizing a camera, it's no joke. And unless you're trying to shoot a chaotic war scene like in Saving Private Ryan, or I don't know, something for world star hip hop, handheld camera shake is just not gonna do. The main reason I got this piece of equipment is a controlled slide can show corals in a much more dynamic way. Some corals don't need any help. Their motion alone creates depth and interest, but other corals are like monolithic statues. Shooting a video of them, it's really not a lot different than shooting a still image of them, which obviously defeats the purpose of shooting video in the first place. So, if the coral will not move, the camera must. This is where a motorized slider really shines. A parallax slide like this can capture a very three-dimensional feel. Controlled slides combined with tilt can also follow the lines of a coral. In all, it's a great tool that allows for some new perspectives that would otherwise not be possible. Take for example this pectinia. It's a great looking coral, but shooting a video of it doesn't really add any more than just a still image. Compare that to a sliding shot, where you can see the spires in relation to one another, and you can really get a sense of the depth of the colony. One shot that I thought was very cool is a special effect for equipment. I got a meat grinder to make fish food at home, and by replicating the same slide over and over, I'm able to shoot the grinder in various stages of assembly to show the various parts. By stacking the individual videos and playing with transparency a little, the pieces materialize out of thin air. I'm sure as I get more experience with this slider, there's gonna be more creative things that I can do. Besides, it's fun to get new toys occasionally. That's it from here. Take care, everyone.